everyone, I'm Blake Childress, and I'm that one filmmaker, and it's that time of the year again. The time where we drink hot cocoa, buy shit, play in the snow, buy shit, and watch buy movies shit. with our families, and also buy shit. It's Christmas! Celebrate the holiday season, I'm doing something that I promised months ago on Instagram. I'm reviewing The Hated... Pretty obvious that nobody so wanted this. Yeah, yeah, the break down the plot of and if it had one, I totally would. Right here, but it kind of doesn't. Wow. Meme to shit. An embarrassing train wreck that is Cats the Movie. But before we talk about the movie, I wanted to talk about something else. And that is the time my school put on Cats for our musical production. So when I was in ninth grade, shortly after Hurricane Harvey and the creation of the channel, I joined the theater program at my high school, and the first show of the year was Cats. I really wasn't sure if I was ready to do a musical, so I just did what most ninth graders would do. I said, fuck it. I auditioned for the show to see if I would get a part, and I remember the audition was like cringy as shit because we had to not only sing a song from the show, but we also had to do a monologue where we pretended to be a cat. Going on a stage and crawling around talking about drinking milk and eating cat food in front of my new theater director was about the hardest thing I'd ever done. And then, I got cast. Not as someone like Bustopher Jones, whose character was literally written to be just the fat guy. No, instead, I got the character of Rum Tum Tugger. The cat that was basically just like if Elvis and Michael Jackson fucked Garfield. Garfield plays cat. All jokes aside, it was honestly pretty great doing cats. To quote Ashley Bartos on the show, she said, It was pretty fun being in a mediocre high school production of a musical. Before I got to part for the show, I remember I did research for the musical since I had never heard about it before. Everyone kept telling me to watch the Cats movie, which was basically just a VHS recording of Cats on Broadway. But the funny thing was, after I looked up Cats the movie, I saw a whole article written about the movie we have today, talking about how Tom Hooper was supposed to direct the movie. I thought it was kind of funny, and I forgot about the whole thing after we were finished doing the show. Also, before we continue, I just want to say, rest in peace Chadwick Adams, who was the choreographer of our production of Cats, and he actually played McCavity on one of the runs of the show. And no matter how bad I was doing as Rum Tum Tugger, he was always there to make sure that I was doing as best as I can. Rest in peace, man. While doing the show was kind of a terrifying clusterfuck, at the end of the day, it was pretty magical. I remember I got young kids going up to me after our first performance asking for my autograph, and people were giving me compliments, and they were taking like pictures with me. It was an enlightening experience, and is one of the reasons I fell in love with theater. But this Cats movie is anything but enlightening or magical. Let's go! or fucking anything related to good. Right, well that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> that's what I say to you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Cats was an absolute travesty of a film that I honestly have a hard time actually talking about. Like... I feel like it's gotten so much hate that it feels like I'm just beating a dead horse for a holiday special. But I made a promise, and I'm gonna fulfill it. Alright, there goes Blaine. Um, I'm going to the Cinemark in Port Aransas. Actually, it's in Corpus Christi. Um, to see the new uh, Cats movie. And, um... I'm not very excited for this, but hey, it's for my holiday special. Merry Christmas. I'm wasting money for you guys. The funny thing is, I had to beg my family to let me go see it, because usually I watch movies with my family, but none of them wanted to see Cats. Even Blaine, the guy that literally watches pretty much everything with me, said no to Cats. So I had to go to the movie theater alone. I kind of expected the theater to be empty with no one in it, but there were surprisingly three to four rows filled in the theater. However, I did have the whole back row to myself, which was nice. 
Now, the funny thing was how there were some kids watching the movie, which kind of surprised me because, like, Cats was really a big thing in the 80s and, like, you know, it wasn't popular in any other time period. Also, one thing with movies that I never do is use the restroom. I kind of always feel as if I'm not getting the full experience if I leave the theater to go. But after, like, three songs from the soundtrack, I said, fuck it, and I used the restroom anyway. After the movie, I texted a lot of my friends saying, yeah, the movie sucks ass and don't go see it. And then I went home and watched Star Wars Episode 2 Attack the Clones of Blaine to wash away the shit that I had just watched for two hours. I don't like sand. Glass actually melted sand. It's not tasting like sand. And then I just dump my. Oh! Case in point, Cats the movie is not even so bad it's funny. Cats is so bad that I don't think I would even call it a movie. <laughs> This is the first time I have ever watched something where I questioned its ability of calling itself a movie. Because, I mean, I watched it in a movie theater, so that means it's a movie. But what I watched wasn't a movie. You see, movies have characters. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Cats has anthropomorphic demons disguised as stereotypes. Movies have storylines with morals and themes. Cats has a bunch of furries dancing and singing about themselves. Movies are fun to watch. Cats is a nightmare from hell. Movies can be interpreted and discussed for years. Cats is so bad that I'm actually trying to repress what I watched. Movies are cinema. Cats is not cinema. So I guess I should talk exactly about why this movie is so bad. So let's start with... Andrew Lloyd Webber based Cats off of a bunch of poems written by T.S. Eliot in a book called Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, which explains the fact that Cats has no real plot. See, with the musical, the whole point was to turn your brain off and have a good time. You had to see a bunch of actors pretend to be cats and do weird dances and sing songs that don't mean anything or reveal anything apart from just introducing themselves. But with a movie, a movie needs a plot alongside great songs that add to the story and reveal things about the characters. The songs are replacing dialogue. That's why movie musicals like Grease and Little Shop of Horrors are great, because they have good stories and characters with songs that are as classic as some of the most famous film quotes of all time. Cats the movie does try and add a plot to the original source material, but it doesn't actually work, because, in my opinion at least, you really can't add much to the source material to make it into a comprehensive film. You either adapt the musical perfectly where it has little to no story, or make it to where the movie has not a lot of songs and has more dialogue and more of an actual story. Both would piss off everyone, so this movie tries to do both. Adapt the musical faithfully and add some dialogue to give the film a loose plot. And it fails. Whenever a person talks about why they hate musicals, they usually say it's all just a bunch of songs and music and no dialogue. While it doesn't fit the description of something like La La Land, it sadly does fit this movie, because Cats was literally just anthropomorphic nightmare creatures singing. So one of the most important things in a musical is, well, I mean, the music. So how was the music in this movie? Well, thankfully, most of the music is not awful. 
most of them. In fact, most of the songs are pretty great. Even the original songs made from the movie are alright. They have great melodies, great singing voices, and not a lot of auto-tune. It sounded like, for the most part, faithful adaptations of the original songs from Broadway. Now, would I willingly listen to the soundtrack? Probably not, but hey, at least it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. Well now, let's talk about the worst thing from this movie. The thing people have been terrified of for months. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very sh The CG in this movie is absolutely horrible. And apparently the CG in the movie is actually unfinished and a new version is releasing in theaters that is polished and finished. Finished or not, the CG in this movie is horrible. I mean, it looks like if I got a picture of an anthropomorphic cat and I pasted a picture of my face and then, you know, with a little Photoshop. And there we go, looks just like the movie. I'm not even kidding when I say that there were moments when some of the faces of the cats would literally drift away from the head. It was horrible. And when it comes to the rest of the character design, it was not only scary, but mainly just unprofessional and lazy. I mean, they don't even have paws or claws. They all have fingers and have fingernails. So it just feels like I'm watching a furry drug trip. CG literally ruined this movie. I mean, maybe if the movie had actual animated cats walking around singing and dancing, then it would be fine. But this shit... This ruined everything. So I've been complaining a lot in this video, and the only thing I've actually given any praise to was the music. So what else did I like? Well, my favorite thing about the movie was how Idris Elba seemed really into it and it was fun to watch. Because everyone else in the movie felt like they didn't want to be there, and Jason Derulo seemed like he was having too much fun. I <sighs> also like how the plot was framed around Victoria and made her the main character, since in the musical there was no main central character. I felt like making her the central character helped the film for the better. I mean, she had no character, but at least they tried to do something better than the original musical. You know, like giving it a plot, or something like that. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. In conclusion, Cats the Movie had horrible CGI, mediocre and cringy performances, overtly sexual choreography, faithful songs, no plots, no good characters, a bunch of memes, and nothing that I would call cinema. Now you're probably asking, Blake, out of all the Christmas films you could have reviewed for Christmas, why did you review Cats? A film that has nothing remotely to do with Christmas. And to that I say... Actually, wait, you're right. Why did I review Cats? I give Cats a 0.5 out of 10. For the love of all that is good on Earth, do not watch this lump of coal straight from hell. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this holiday special. Um, usually this is where the That One Filmmaker season ends after the Christmas video. Um, but I actually have one more video planned out for 2019, and that's going to be my top 5 best and top 5 worst movies of 2019, which that video is going to come out on either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Um, so, uh, I just, guess I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this holiday special. This is the first time that I've ever actually released one of these videos, finished. We here at That One Filmmaker crew hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. I'm Blake Childress, and I'm That One Filmmaker, and I hope to see you in the final video of That One Filmmaker Season 3. Oh my god. Is that a... Is that a... Is that a, is that a fucking boat?